Hi everyone, welcome to a Khan Academy tutorial. We're doing Pythagorean Theorem in 3D. Let's go ahead and get started. Each vertical cross section of the triangle prism shown below is an isosceles triangle. What is the height H of the triangular prism? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. The height is blank units. Okay, so that's what we have to do here. Obviously, the title is using Pythagorean Theorem, but even if we didn't know it's Pythagorean Theorem, we can kind of see that, number one, we have a right triangle. That's a big key for Pythagorean Theorem. And anytime we have a right triangle, we have a hypotenuse and two legs. As a reminder, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse, and a and b are the two legs. It doesn't matter which one is which. So we see here that we're given some information. Let's decipher it. Number one, we're given that this length right here is going to be the same as our hypotenuse. So C is going to be equal to 5. What other information do we have? Well, one of the missing pieces of information is we know A is going to be equal to H. Okay, so our A for A squared plus B squared equals C squared is going to be the letter H. That's the variable. That's the height that we're looking for. And then B, what is B equal? Well, the temptation is right, B equals eight, but that's the whole distance there. We only want half that distance. So we're talking about there. So we talk about half of eight, and that's gonna be four. The key is this nice isosceles triangle, which is why you can say that half of eight is uh, four, uh, and why it's split up into two equal parts is because of its isosceles. If it was an isosceles triangle, you couldn't make the assumption that that leg is uh, half of eight. So we know B is equal to four. Okay, so now we're just gonna plug in here. So we have B squared is gonna be four squared, and we're gonna add that to H squared, and then that is equal to five squared. We get 25. Uh, let me just switch to all purple here. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this, all purple. We get 25 equals 16 plus H squared. We subtract 16 from both sides. And this part's the easy part, you know, just doing a two-step equation, three-step, multi-step. Take the square root of h squared, that's how you undo the squared, and you get h equals three. So we're gonna put height is three units. Next question. The square pyramid shown below has a base with sides of 12 units. The vertical height of the pyramid is 15 units. What is the length of s, the height of one of the triangular faces? Here we see uh, we're looking for well, number one, you see a right triangle here. Here we see a leg is 15, and we don't know that one, but we can figure it out later. Here's our 90 degree angle. The hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree angle. So here is our hypotenuse, because this is the 90 degree angle. So S squared equals 15 squared, plus we need this missing side right here. Now, if we know that, uh, what does it say, is a square? It has to be a, a square pyramid. Yes, it's a square pyramid. So we know that if it's a square pyramid, then this distance here that goes down into the middle is going to be half. So it's going to be split up into six and six. Therefore, if this distance right here is six, then this distance right here is also six. So we have six squared right there. I'm going to use a calculator for this one. Uh, just a reminder, that's an S, not a five. So I have six squared plus 15 squared, that's 225. So we get 261 is equal to S squared. Now we're gonna take the square root of both sides and we get S equals the square root of 261. So we need to take the square root of 261 and it wants us to round our answer to the nearest 10th. So that is, we got 16.155. The nearest 10th is gonna be 16.2 because we look to the five to round up the 10th place. So 16.2 units. All right, next question. What is the length of diagonal D of the cube shown below? Ooh, this one's a tough one. Uh, good problem though. Okay, so we have this right here. That is gonna be a length here. Let's look for some more lengths here to consider. We have this guy right here, and then we have this diagonal here. Okay, this one's actually a multi-step problem. So here we know this is 60, okay, because all these units are 60, all these lengths are 60. So if I'm gonna redraw this triangle here, okay, this is what we're looking at. And actually, let me, uh, I need this to be a different color, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. I need this to be, oh man, I didn't mean to erase that, undo. 
Okay, I need this to be a different color. Okay, that's gotta be purple. Okay, so this one is red. And then this one is purple. Okay, so our ha we have our 90 degree angle here because it's a cube, all right? And this is D, this is the unit we're looking, the distance we're looking for. We have 60 here, but we're missing that purple length, which is a problem because we need two of the lengths to use Pythagorean theorem. So we know 60 squared plus something blank squared is gonna be equal to D squared. We just have to find that blank now. Okay, in order to find that blank, we need another triangle. So we need to use that purple diagonal as another triangle right here, okay? So this one's laying flat this time. So if I were to kind of pull it up from the ground, this is what this triangle would look like, okay? So then I have 60 units here and 60 units here. Why? Because it's a cube, okay? The same distances are on all the sides. So that's 60, 60, 60, okay? So then we have 60, 60, and now we need to find this missing distance, and we'll call it, uh, what should we call it? We'll call it X, okay, that's our missing leg. So we need to find that X. How do we do it? Well, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem again. We have to do 60 squared plus 60 squared equals X squared, okay? Let's go ahead and jump to the calculator. So we get 60 squared, it's gonna be like 3,600, uh-huh, and that's times two. That's another way to do that problem, 7,200 equals x squared. So now we're gonna take the square root of that. We're not gonna get uh, a nice rounded answer. We're gonna get 84. x equals 84.85, about, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug that into this missing value. Now we know this is 84.85, okay? And actually we're just gonna square it again. So we get 7200 plus 3600, 7200 plus 3,600, didn't really need to take the square root of it, but just so you guys see what the process is, equals D squared. So we're gonna add that to 3,600, and then we're gonna take the square root of that, and we get D equals 103.92. Okay, asks to round to the nearest 10th. The two tells the nine to stay how it is, 103.9, and that equals D. So 103.9. So just a reminder, because of this odd shape, we had to do the Pythagorean theorem twice to find that diagonal in the cube, and it's 103.9. All right, next question. The triangular prism shown below is six centimeters wide and four centimeters deep. The vertical height is seven centimeters. What is the length of the side S of the triangular prism? Okay, so let's try to break this down. I'm not really sure what these dimensions are. The triangulation show below is six centimeters wide. So I, I think they mean, okay, I think they're saying this is the deep part, so that's four. And then I think they're saying the vertical height is seven, right there, that's seven. And I think they're saying this distance right there is six, okay? So um, it gives us a lot of information and we don't need all of it, okay? Really, we just need to know about this triangle that contains the S. So where is a triangle using Pythagorean theorem that contains that S? Well, we have that S, we have that seven, let me write the S in there. And then we have not the six, but what is that distance right there? This distance right here is gonna be half of six, so that's gonna be three. Well, it doesn't say it's isosceles, so that, that might be an issue. Well, there's nothing else to do, so we're just gonna assume it's isosceles, even though they should have mentioned that it's an isosceles triangle. Um, but let's go ahead and solve for S. I don't really like it when you use the variable S, just as a side note, because it looks like a five, so sorry about that. So we know seven squared plus three squared is gonna be equal to S squared. So we're gonna square uh, seven, that's 49, plus nine, and we get 58. So we get 58 equals S squared. And we're gonna round this to the nearest 10th, so we're gonna take the square root of 58. And we get the 7.615. So we're rounding to the nearest 10th, we're looking to the one to round up to the, the six, and it stays. 7.6 is S. 7.6. And that's all we got. That video. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next time on West Explains Best. Make sure to check out some of my other videos in Pythagorean Theorem, and I'll see you next time.